Good morning. It is 6.54 a.m. on Thursday, November 1st, 2018. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. I hope all of you back stateside are enjoying your Halloween evening. Uh, here, uh, we didn't have uh, too much Halloween. Not a big thing here in uh, Korea, but we did get a little Tootsie Roll Pop um, with a little... <laughs> A little paper ghost cut out saying happy Halloween at lunch um, that was pretty much the concession to the fact that I um, what I was told by uh, my local co-workers here is that Halloween is not you know formally celebrated really in any way but it's known about for sure and people who are um, who like that sort of thing enjoy participating in various ways but uh, it is certainly not a natural uh, or a national uh, expected activity in any way. But uh, we, you know, had a uh, you know, second full day at work. Uh, things continue to go well there. Uh, you know, so far so good. Um, after work, we went, uh, the, the two guys that we work uh, the most closely with, uh, and the three of us who are here from my company uh, all went out to dinner to a Korean barbecue place. And uh, I say Korean barbecue as a type of food here, not just a barbecue place in Korea. Um, and uh, it was funny on Twitter, or no, it was on Facebook, someone asked me, it's like, oh, and you know, shouldn't that just be a barbecue place? in Korea instead of saying Korean barbecue don't they just call it a barbecue place and it's like no actually I think it's kind of they they call it a Korean barbecue place because perhaps maybe they want the credit <laughs> um, but I guess uh, partly also just because uh, to distinguish it from other types of barbecue that are different and that way you are being more clear um, so in this context, what that means is uh, it is a restaurant where you know you, you uh, have the low tables that you are sitting cross-legged at, not with the uh, you know chairs you've taken off your shoes and get up onto the little platform. And they have these low stainless steel tables where in the center they have a little pit where they put hot coals there and then a grill goes over it and they have a little you know, uh, vent coming down above it to kind of suck the hot air away so it doesn't just radiate around the table. But uh, you, they, when they bring out the meat, they put it on this grill and then, you know, those of you sitting at the table do, you know, the cooking and then you cut it up into pieces and then there's lots of other things. Uh, they have like big um, lettuce type leaves. I'm not sure if it was actually, it l looked like a kind of lettuce. I don't know if it was actually called something else. Uh, and then sesame leaves, which are, are big too. And you know, you get like, oh look, this piece of beef and you put it in the leaf and then like a slice of garlic that's also been sitting on the grill and then maybe a little bit of sauce. And then you wrap it all up in a leaf and oh. And that's how you know, we ate a lot of it. And then there was also lots of little uh, side dishes uh, it's definitely kind of an expected part of a restaurant meal in Korea to have what's called banchan, which is basically lots of little side dishes that are brought out before the meal and consumed, you know, before and during the uh, actual, you know, encore. Uh, on, encore? That's not the meat. Entree. Uh, and... Uh, it, they those things vari uh, have a variety of things. There's usually a couple of different kinds of kimchi, which is like a fermented cabbage that's uh, uh, you know pretty good. It, it has uh, it's sometimes spicy, sometimes not, and just a variety of different kinds. And then lots of times it's like little vegetables and sauce or other just miscellaneous things. One of the more unusual ones we had last night, unusual from my perspective, is. Um, uh, pickled crab where uh, you have half of this tiny little crab and you pick it up in the chopsticks and you, you've got the the body here and then the little legs dangling and then you basically just take the half of the body in your mouth and you suck it out 
it's pretty good. And it's all in like, you know, a, a, a spicy sauce as well. And uh, it was uh, it was all pretty good. And, you know, with that, we had um, uh, Somek, which is uh, um, uh, beer is Mekju. And then Soju is a type of uh, alcohol drink that's kind of a cross between sake and vodka. And then when you uh, when you do mix those like a boiler maker, you pour a little bit of uh, um, soju and then the beer, which is mekju, and it makes somek. And that you know, so we had that too, and that was pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's great, great meal. And I that was the uh, meal that I posted a picture of uh, on social media last night for me. So if you want to check that out, <clears throat> now you know all about the meal that we had. Um, I'm not going to go on and on about it right now because I'm, you know, I've got to get ready for breakfast. But um, I also, after dinner, played the first couple of hours worth of Red Dead Redemption 2 finally on my PS4. And so far, uh, I had been prepared for it to be, you know, ponderous uh, and kind of uh, the controls not intuitive. Um, and I think that's true but I'm, I'm kind of already digging it personally. All right. Anyway, I'll leave it there for today and I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.